All right, top favorite props, here we go. Hi guys, Teacher Jennifer here. Welcome back to my channel. You probably know that I have an obsession with props. <laughs> I am the admin and creator of the Props Facebook group. It is called VIP Kid Videos and Props for those of you who want to join. I love props, I love reward systems, so I figured that it was time for me to make you a video talking about my five favorite props. The first thing is a microphone. It doesn't have to be a microphone, I also have a magic wand. Something that you can demonstrate to your student that you want them to either speak or sing. It's also good as a pointing device. <gasps> Ding! -ding! You get a red diamond! This is really handy for my lower level students, but sometimes my level three, level four students love a microphone too. So I do like to point with that, just something that lets the students know that they need to speak. So I keep that in front of me um, on my desk. Prop number two, you need some type of stuffed animal, whether it's a teddy bear, a beanie baby, a doll. Speaking of dolls, I am obsessed with these. Let me do a little close-up for you. Look how cute. Hello, Meg. Hello, Mike. I found these online. I'll post the link in the description box for you guys. There's usually a code that gives you a discount. They're about $20 individually or $35 together when you use that coupon. But look how cute they are. My students love them. But you need some type of doll. These seem to be my go-to just because our students need to see a friendly face. And by having that teddy bear, having that Meg or Mike doll, it's going to be a way for them to open up. I can only imagine what's going through their head thinking to themselves, mom, do I really have to take an English class where the teacher only speaks English? It sounds scary. It sounds scary. I know. So something that they can relate to. Plus, eyes, ears, mouth, nose. We can talk about shirts, pants, shoes, hats. It can really be diverse when it comes to the lesson material that you're teaching. Prop number three. Okay, so I, I know that this technically isn't a prop, but if you are a new teacher, I would say to have one really good reward system that's gender neutral and that you can go ahead and play back and forth with, with your older students and your younger students. I would suggest something that's animal related or food related. I love this banana reward system. All I did was print out a bunch of bananas. So I have a ton of bananas and you can either reward the younger students a banana with older students. Maybe they need to find the banana when you play the find a star game. And I even have, I even have these rotten bananas just because my students like a good laugh. To learn how to play, I'll post a link down for you below. It is my number one trial class reward system video. So many good things. Plus there are free printables on that video as well. I've got some colored bananas on there too. You know what, I think we will count that reward system as prop number three because we need a reward system. So, number four, fake food. This is my apple, obviously not real. It has a few bites in it because of my two-year-old. So funny. I love having this on hand. Not only can I use it to teach heavy and light, what color is it? Is it a food? Is it a fruit? Is it a vegetable? Do you like apples? Apples? Ah, ah, apple? Yes! So this just comes in handy all the time when I am talking about food with my students. Sometimes I will ask my upper level students, what did you eat for breakfast? And if they're stumped, I can ask, did you eat an apple? Did you eat fruit for breakfast? So I do like to strike up a conversation talking about food. If you haven't caught on already, these props can really be used in all of the classes. It isn't something that is specific for level two or specific to level six. Number five, where are you? Number five, where are you? But lastly, it is my whiteboard. And you can see that I was using it this morning. <laughs> Just a handheld whiteboard is so great because if I were traveling, this is the first thing that I would pack. You can see that this morning, my students were connecting the big letters to the small letters. Or with older students, if they need to learn how to spell, you can write vocabulary words on here. You can draw pictures if you don't have a prop to represent what it is you're trying to talk to the student about. And it also makes a last minute reward system. I can use this. Might be good to have an eraser. I can literally draw the reward on my whiteboard on the fly. So if maybe you slept in through your alarm and you are coming to class really fast, this might just save your life. For a reward system with this small whiteboard, I have found that it is completely worth it to buy these colored Expo markers. Expo markers, colored, great. And then I just spell my student's name. So if their name is Ariel, great job, you get a letter. 
what color do you like? Green, and I draw the A, and throughout the class, R-I-E-L, and then we have their name written, and it's so cute. They have so much fun. If it is a student with a really small, short name, maybe their name is Bob, then we just start drawing hearts, stars, flowers. I might even ask them what they want me to draw. Oh, P.S., this is from Target in the dollar section. I know you can also get them from the dollar store, which is why I don't have a specific link for you, but they are always around, and they are super cheap, but so worth it. So that is number four, five, Guys, I don't even remember anymore. I don't even remember anymore. So we're just gonna throw in an extra one, whether that's five or six. Bonus! Okay, this last prop comes as a set, just because I printed it all together. And they are. Da -da -da. Okay, I'm throwing in the flower. You need to have a flower when you're teaching smell, color. Do you eat the flower? I do love just one fake flower from the dollar store, but that's not what I'm talking about. It's these guys. These are photo booth props that I literally just typed into Google, photo booth props printable. I have my eyes. If we are looking for something or if I'm even teaching eyes, mouth. Notice that they're extra large because I like to be funny in my classroom. Large mouth, large nose. Hmm? Do you have a nose? <laughs> Dino has a nose. <laughs> Fail. <laughs> and then I also have two ears, ta-da, ears. And you know what, because I love you guys so much, I'll actually post a PDF file for you in the description box of this video. Just make sure that you like and subscribe this video first as a thank you. I will give you access to these cute little guys that you can print out, stick on sticks, stick on sticks, put them on sticks, and yeah, enjoy that in your classroom. So again, just a recap, something that you can speak to with the students or point to your background. These are from School Squared on Etsy. I will also post the link to them. Some type of stuffed animal toy. I really enjoy these Make and Mike dolls. Again, these are posted in the link. They're about $20 each or $35 together when you use the discount codes. We talked about that reward system with bananas because I think having one really good gender neutral reward system is so important. A flower. We use some type of flower because they're fun. And a photo booth body parts on sticks. Look, I just used duct tape on the back. You don't even have to get fancy. The student only sees the front. <laughs> Am I forgetting anything? Oh, the apple. You need to have some type of fake food. Trust me on this. It is fantastic. But I hope you guys have enjoyed my tips. Feel free to leave me a comment down below. I would love to know what your go-to prop is. And with that, you guys are amazing. If you are thinking about going through the hiring process and you would like access to more things that you can print out to prepare you for your interview, your mock class, and if you just want a mentor in general to help you through the hiring process, go ahead, send me an email. I would be more than happy to help you out. But until next time, you guys, happy teaching.